Okay, welcome back, Emma, to the second part of your lesson you recorded with me where we did a little role play. Um, we've already looked, watched the first half where you've done very well and you was on a pass. So now we're going to watch the second half. I will pause it as we go through, give you feedback, and let's see how you get on. Good luck. Okay, Emma, so you've asked me to remember that roundabout. That's good. Is it because on approach I used the right-hand lane when the left-hand lane was available? I like the way that you didn't intervene and tell me to move over. You could see I was clearly looking, but I didn't move over. So all I would have said there to the pupil is, Howard, any reason why you didn't move over there? And then that could be done and dusted. And yes, we might need to have a little chat about that later. Oh, oh, right. Sorry. I think he was there okay. first. Okay, Emma, so as a trainer, I've intervened on myself and and decided to stop because it just wouldn't have been safe to proceed with the uh, with the lorry going under the bridge. So yeah, there, just be looking far ahead um, so that you could intervene and prevent me doing it because I, I was going to go through or attempt to, but it just wouldn't have been safe to do so, so I had to stop. Oh, so why did you so, stop me then? Okay, so lorry was coming through. Where are we going? So we're going right to Howard. Okay, so we'll just remember that lorry as well, okay? I'll okay. you concentrate on this roundabout. Right, yeah. Okay, Emma, so you've kind of been sucker punched here. There's a lot going on. We've just had the lorry incident. I've just driven past that junction with my left signal on, which you noticed, you pointed, you smiled, you're aware of it. And then my phone goes off. Now, I couldn't have made this up, but I had left my phone on. This is something pupils will do, so we do need to deal with it. So we've got the lorry, we've got a signal left on, my phone's gone off, and then there was the remember that roundabout. And I think you were going to be pulling me up here anyway to talk about it. And just remember, after the lorry incident, I still need directing. So that's often a thing that gets forgotten. Still be in control of your pupil, tell them where to go, because otherwise you'll just sail past your opportunity where you, you wanted to talk about stuff. Do apologise. Turn my phone off. I know you always tell me to turn it off. Oh, do you have to turn it off before I search my phone? Yes, you do. Okay, Emma. So I just intervened on myself there because I was going to hold my phone while the engine is running. Now, I know you've got an electric car, but it was still in ready mode. So I would just jump in there and prevent the pupil from looking at their phone because as you're fully aware you know that is an offence six points on my license um, and a 200 pound fine so let's make sure the engine's off before pupils touch phones or indeed instructors touching phones because we have had um we've had this uh recently where 
instructors have forgotten their phone and picked it up and turned it off during a part of three or a standard check and yeah that doesn't go down too well i'll turn it off sorry it's okay you remember next time i thought i'd done it but obviously i didn't i normally let me put it on airplane mode so why do i have to like mm. turn that off then if i'm I thought as long as you stopped, you could. No, you have to. You have to legally turn the car off to be use your phone to be on your phone. Really? Oh God. What? All right. So you can't just be at the lights and check your text no. then? No, you can't. No. Oh God. Why I do you think you? Why do you think you can't? Well, no, I why? thought you could. What? My parents told us that. What could? Um, well, what could be? What could be the issue if you if you were to like look at a text? Yeah. Okay. While you're sitting at traffic lights. Well, I thought as long as you were stopped. No. Then, oh, really? No, no. You have, you have to. Uh, you, you can't, you can't check, you can't check your phone. Yeah. For text at the traffic lights. Right. Okay. It's illegal to. All right. Oh, right. If what, okay. what? If if a police car come past or. Well, if it's illegal, illegal then they're going to do me, aren't they? Yes, they are. Yeah. Right. Because right. you're not to use your phone whilst. Well. Okay, so what is the rule with it then? Like, what do I have to do? Like... So you don't, so you, can, so you can't use a phone unless it's hands free. Okay. Okay, so you stop, pull over, turn the engine off. So I've got to so turn then, the engine off. So then you use then your it's, phone. Then I legally can touch my phone. Yes. Okay, well, I didn't know that. Alright. Bloody hell. I have to remember that. Christ. <laughs> I would honestly, I'd be at the lightest. I could check the text just, messages. Well, please don't, please don't, ever, please don't ever do that. Oh God, all right, all right, don't yeah, do thanks. that. Okay, okay. yeah, sorry. Yeah. Okay, Emma, so good that you've talked about the consequences of using that phone, but just be aware the people did have to sort of throw you a bit of a lifeline there and remind you to talk about it because he wanted to know what, why, why do I have to turn it off? Um, so your people might not always do that. So just make sure you discuss it. And it would have been good to help that learner fully understand with the implications of six points. That means as a new driver, I would lose my license. So if I'd done that when I passed, six points, that's it, I've got to start everything again um, and a 200 pound fine. So maybe that would just put it home a little bit stronger for him. Yeah, so thank you. All right, Howard, let's get back to, so, Let's, yeah. Like the, the roundabout. Okay. For roundabout, you hesitated again. You said you spoke out. You said you were unsure. You said whether remember that, that car, roundabout. Yeah. You you said you were unsure on that whether that car was coming round. Yeah. But then he went off. And then he went off. Yeah. And yeah, then you hesitated again because there was another car following him, and I think you weren't he sure went off as well. whether he was going to come round. So. Yeah. How, how how can we look at? Um, Just. What what else can we what else can help well, us? Well, just look at this signalling where they're going. If yeah. they go off, I just wanted him to commit. Yeah. I wanted okay. him to like. Okay. Is there a, is there? Because sometimes they've come round and I've missed got it, so I wanted to see him actually commit. Head right. to the okay. exit. Okay. So yeah. can is there is there another way that can help you to see if um, they are going off that exit or whether they're coming round the roundabout? Well, is apart that like from their, their signals and their yeah, position? Yeah, part, part, yeah. I don't know. So... I literally don't know. No. So sometimes like, well, um, looking at the wheels, the direction their wheels are turning. Oh, okay. The car. So we talked about... Yeah, that's about, what I so meant, talk, like when he was going for the exit. When I so, saw that, I thought, well, yeah, I'll go. So also, we talked, I mean, we talked about the, uh, you just said his position. Okay. On, yeah. If a car, if a car was going to be coming round the roundabout, okay, where yeah. we, if I just quickly draw this, okay. No artist. No. Very good. Okay, so we're here, okay, yeah. and you were saying. In fact, actually, so the I haven't drawn that roundabout very well. Um, I know what it is, but. So you were saying that you w were waiting because you were wondering, you wanted to know whether he was committing to coming off. Are you talking about that mini, or I'm confused? What? Because you said I'm remember talking, that. I'm talking. Yeah, I'm talking about yeah. the mini, and then there was a grey car that followed it. 
Because the mini confused yeah. me because he came around like yeah. he was like in that lane and then he went down there and I didn't think he'd do that. He was in, like in the wrong lane, I thought. So I was glad I waited, yeah. but because I, I had a bad feeling about him. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> is is that not, oh, I don't know what, what have I done wrong? Have I done something wrong or? Well, yeah, I don't know what. Have I done anything wrong? Or? No, you didn't do anything wrong. Oh, okay. You, oh, did, you didn't do anything well, wrong. I thought I'd done something wrong. You, okay. didn't, you didn't do anything wrong because you did the right thing in waiting. Cool. Okay. No, no, yeah, but I right, just good. wanted to so, check. Yeah, I just wanted to check as to whether that you, because um, you you were saying you weren't sure which way round he was coming. Well, that mini. So yeah. So, but he shouldn't so, do that, should he? Should he go like he turned left in a right lane? I've never seen that before. But I'm glad I waited anyway. Right. Because he just went. So, I'm because I, 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 I thought I thought he was going to go around there, so that's why I waited. But then he went and then, off, and, and then I was he went like, off. Oh, okay. Okay. But if I didn't. Okay. I wouldn't have known that. No, I wouldn't have known he was going to do that. I'm not a mind reader. No. Yeah. Okay. No. Sort of. okay. okay. So I was all right with the mini. So you're all right with the mini, and, right. but then oh. you hesitated with the car following him. So there yeah. was another. So there was another yeah. car. Yeah, that's car, that's car, my thing, car. though, isn't it? So, I just need a bit of help with that. So how, so, okay, so we just talked about, okay, we don't necessarily rely on a signal because yeah. they can change their mind. They right. might not go off when they're signalling or they've left their signal on from um, yeah. coming round. So yeah, I think I also, understand all that. Yeah. So you, you, so un so you about understand yeah. about like looking at the posi where the position of the car is and, and how their wheels Have I pulled are. that in front of anyone? No, you haven't. Okay. Okay. I rest my case. Right, okay. <laughs> Turn the camera off, please. Why have you pulled okay. me out? Okay, Emma, take a breath. I feel for you. We've all been in this situation where lots of things happened, and you just need to take a moment for yourself. You can stop talking. Don't think you just have to keep talking because your pupil's waiting for you to perform. In that situation, and this can happen to anyone on a lesson, and it normally happens on a part three or a standards check, just say, hang on to the pupil. I just need a minute. I just need a minute. I'm going to make some notes. Um, and then you can make a little list and gather your thoughts, prioritize the list, and then take a deep breath and then think, right, why have I pulled you up? What did we need to talk about? What was the big thing that we needed to talk about there? So go with the lorry. That was a big thing. You've done the phone. Great. Yeah, there's still that little signal that we want to cover at some point. But, you know, you can forget that. You are human. People will forget these things when something's happened. And then, of course, the, the reason that you wanted to pull up in the first place was something about that roundabout. Whereas, you know, was he hesitant? Was that the thing you wanted to talk about? Was it something to do with the lanes? Because I was in that right-hand lane. I kept looking to the left. The left lane was available, but I just didn't move over. And when you watch this back, you'll see yourself looking at me, perplexed by me. You had a little smile. You were going to say something, but you needed to direct me. And you just said, do you know what, Howard? Remember that roundabout. So it's so important. If you if you feel like the rug's been pulled under your feet and you're under stress, just it's okay to sit and be quiet. So just say, do this. Like, say, okay, I just need a moment. And think. So also, um, the lorry. Oh, right. okay. yeah, yeah, so why did you stop so, me? That so, was yeah. like... so, the, so the lorry, okay, yes. was coming. Yeah. Um, so that bridge, okay, is quite a low bridge. Okay. Did you notice any road markings on the, on the road? Yeah, I, vaguely. Okay. There was a light so, line in the middle. So we had, so we had the lorry coming through. Um, okay, yep. Yeah. So we, there's some lines. I was just going to go there. So there's, so there is some sort of lines that come out, okay, like something like this. 
Oh yeah, okay. yeah, 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 actually, yeah. I don't know yeah, if you, you say that. Yeah. I do recall and we something. had the lorry here, okay, and we were approaching here, okay. Yeah, I was way back now, when I he you, was there. Yeah, we we, like, we we were back here. Okay. He was coming through, so he was closer to going under the bridge than we were. Yeah. Okay, it was there sooner than us. Okay, so I just stopped you because this this lot. Do you think this lorry would have got under the bridge? Quite a big oh, yeah, because he, he moved right quite in high. the middle of the road. He did. Oh, yeah, because yeah. he's, yeah, the, oh, yeah. All please. right, and so these lines, oh, yeah, obviously, no, are now. to help guide. Ah. Oh. Big lines. Could I not have like just that. gone, so, was there not enough room? I could have just gone through this in the other bit. I don't know, I'm not sure. Do you, well, do you think there was enough room? Probably so not, why, you So me. why did I stop? Yeah. So, because this big lorry, he needs to be able to come into the centre. Okay. Yeah, okay. He, he needs to come into take there. His top off. All yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. So when he's coming through, if you try to squeeze through, yeah, probably isn't enough room, which is right. why these oh, lines are here right. for okay. taller, bigger vehicles to yeah. be able to go into the centre. So I just Got stopped it. you yeah, there. No, I, I understand. Yeah. Okay. God. So we can yeah, go. Yeah, I would have gone through there. We can. What What would the risks been if you'd have gone through? What could have happened? Well, if there's not room, I don't think he'd be very happy, would he? No. And what what would what what would he have to do if you started he'd approaching? Have to stop. Yeah. Or mm. swear at me. Yeah. The likelihood is he would have to slow down. He'd have to, he'd he'd probably think, oh, I need to stop because this car's coming through. Mhm. Mm yeah. yeah. No, it yeah, makes sense now. Room. I was just a okay. bit confused, like what happened. But yeah, no, yeah. I get it. Makes sense. Yeah. Thank you. So. We can go back through there, but I can't guarantee that a lorry will come through again. Okay, Emma, you're back on track. Good analysis, helping your people understand. He gets it, so it is time to move on. All I would say there is, rather than saying we're going to go back, ask. Ask the people, would you like to go back? Would you benefit from having another look at that? And I would have said yes, yes, please. I would have benefited, but... Rather than a tell, just get an ask in. So, yeah, you, you're doing well, Emma. You're back on it. On this occasion. Yeah, yeah, yeah I wouldn't right. mind doing that. But again, it would be, be good for you to have a little look at the road yeah. markings, just so you do okay. definitely familiarise yourself with them. Yeah, can I do that? All right. Can I? Can we? Yeah, yeah, can of we course. Yeah, yeah, we'll go okay. back through. Okay. We've got time, are we? What's this? Oh. It was what time we left to finish by? Oh, 25, 25 past. past. Yeah, we've got time, are we? Past. Great. We can go back round. Okay. Okay. Okay, Emma, so just be aware of your surroundings. That left signal is still on, so that's a big clue, a reminder for you to help your people and just talk about the thing that you forgot to talk about with the signals. So um, that was a bit of a missed opportunity. Um, yeah, so just be aware of what's going on in the car and then you can pick that up. Oh, that's oh nice. God, that's, that car was literally right in my blind spot. Yes, he was. Because so I, like, you know, that's so look, funny because I saw a black car then I was going to go, and then there was literally another black car. That was, God, yes. Do you, do you need to indicator on? Uh, right. No, there's that oh, one. And stop, stop, stop. there, because you've got your indicator indicating that we're going right. Left. Left, sorry. Left sorry, left. Oh, yeah, sorry. God, sorry. Yep. I must have left that on. Okay, Emma, so now with that signal, we've now got a bit of a double whammy, because now he's tried to move off with a left signal on, and now we would have potentially affected cars. With the blind spot thing and the second black car, all all we need to do there is just praise the pupil because he spotted it, it was good. So now you've kind of got two faults to talk about with the signal. One, me leaving it on and driving past the junction when I pulled up, and now number two, left a left signal on when I'm trying to move off. So we need to discuss the, the risks, the implications of doing that and finding a way that I can do that on my own. So how will you help me remember to either cancel or, or put the correct signal on? We're going to go down to the right. We're going to go left. Yes, please. Oh, yeah, 
yeah, so the, the, yeah, the lorry would have been to yeah, no, through there wasn't that middle bit, so there wouldn't yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. yeah that would have been, yeah, I get it now, okay. that would have been tight. Okay, oh, so the cyclist, yeah. Okay, oh, this so is like the hazard perception me, video. Talk to me where you're, what you're thinking. Well, they've looked right, so they're going to turn right, or they're thinking about it, and thinking. I'm going to be really careful. Yeah, good. Because she might just come across. So Emma, just be confident, believe in what you know and just say, Howard, yes, you should have put a signal on there and explore why. Okay, Emma, so this next little section went really well. You've navigated me back round the roundabout so I can repeat where I went wrong before, the railway bridge and where I needed to change lane. And I demonstrated I was getting on well with my, my roundabouts. Approach speed was good. No hesitation, no pulling out in front of anyone. So I'm doing very well at this point. Okay Emma, so we just went back to that roundabout, the one where I stay in the right lane. I know you want to tell me something about it, so just pop the question in there, Howard, any reason why you didn't move back over to the left there? And then we can discuss. Easy as that. I don't need to pull him up, maybe go around there and do it again and encourage him to use the left lane, help him understand why, when he would stay in the right hand lane. So just, yeah, help him understand normal driving position and that's all you needed to do there. Okay, so we went back to the scene of the crime, back to the bridge. So all I would have done differently there is been a bit more proactive, encouraging the people to look at the signs, look further ahead. So is there a lorry there? Is there a large vehicle? What would you do if? So the people can start thinking ahead and planning. Okay, Emma, so because we got back a little bit early, we agreed that I'd practice my bay park as I wanted to show you that, just to use up that little bit of extra time we had. But normally you'll be absolutely right when you get back off your part three test, just don't complicate things, just get them to drive forwards into a bay at the end of the test. They've been practicing with my mum on this one. <laughs> I've been having to get practice that when I've gone out with my mum's car. Good. That's pretty well done. Yeah, I'm pretty, is that all right? Yeah. Good. Am I in? Yeah, you're in. Look, you can see you're in. You can always open the doors and have a little look as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty Good. Well oh, done. Oh, yeah, good. Thank okay, you. you can turn the engine off. 
Okay, Emma, so just make sure you're keeping a close eye on your pupil because the pupil thinks he's just done the perfect bay park because he's in a bay and he's been practicing with his mum. But what he's forgotten to do is take any rear observations or all-round effects of observations. So just need to pick up on that. Okay, so Howard, just quick uh, talk about the uh, last junction well, oh, yeah. my late my late instructions yeah, my yeah. bad my yeah. late instructions okay. okay yeah so emma you did give me a late direction just coming back into the car park which you totally accepted responsibility for which is the right thing to do i'm glad that you didn't blame your people for signaling late or going in there too far but what was good is that you did explore the risks of of you know get of turning late and not being able to plan properly so well done for that okay yeah cool. so how do you feel today's lesson has gone all right yeah yeah what yeah, do you, yeah, what, have you what can you take away from this lesson well, i don't think i was hesitant around parts anymore you were you i don't know am i or am i still just as bad i don't know i don't know if I've no no not. you weren't no you're not I, as bad I thought I had, not, but... yes no you have um Oh, so I'll what have you? That. So what I'll have you? So what, what have you? What, have you, what have you learned from? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thank wow. You. Let's just stop the camera now. <laughs> Okay, Emma, it's nearly over. I know you've had enough of me by now. So last little bit. So let's just talk about the summary at the end. So. The pupil's no longer hesitant because of what you taught him to look early and use gaps and blockers and all that stuff. So that's down to you. So you should take credit for that. So what I would talk about in that summary is the main events, really. So I would just check his understanding about the lorry and the meeting situation and what he'd do differently next time. Explore that lane change thing because you've still got time. You could still bring that up and get credit for that to sort of say, well, do you know what? I've noticed you're using the right-hand lane. Why aren't you moving over to the left? So use the summary as an opportunity to sort of tidy up any little loose ends and just confirm that learning has taken place and encourage your pupil to talk about the tools you've given him. What What is the pupil doing differently now because of you that's helping him in the future. So really get that information out of the pupil, sort of say, yeah, so with that hesitation, yeah, what are you doing differently? Yeah, I'm looking earlier, I I'm using the gaps, I'm using blockers, all that positive stuff that you've helped me with. And that, Emma, is the end of our little session together. So well done. The first half was definitely a pass. Grade A stuff, I would say, but the second half has let you down in risk management because of the, the risky things that we've talked about. So if you can sort that out, then you're going to go on and be a great ADI.